Hey guys, Leviathan here. So today I want to talk about some of the other cars that I considered before going with the McLaren 650S. I'm not going to do an objective comparison, rather I'm going to be extremely subjective about it, capturing how each option made me feel. That being said, we're going to have to make quite a few assumptions, meaning let's assume that everything like performance, price, depreciation, maintenance, even gas mileage is the same across all cars. So let's begin. So the first stop being Ferrari. So with the 488 GTV, it is a two to three year wait list, unless of course you're on their exclusive list. And don't think just because you have a Ferrari F430 gets you on that list. In fact, it won't even get you a hello when you walk in the door. There are rumors on how to actually jump the list and it may mean that you would have to just buy another Ferrari from the dealership. It could be a car that you want or a car that it just has been sitting in inventory for too long. The other option is to go to another dealership. However, these dealerships will charge you a really high premium. And given how many other cars there are, I just didn't think that one, the wait time, or two, the premium was worth it. The other option was the 458. And I'll be honest with you guys and say this was a really close option. In fact, I even had the car scheduled to go in for a pre-purchase inspection, but the seller decided to renege at the very last minute. And I'm actually really glad he did. Look, if you ask me which car would I rather have, a Ferrari F430 or 458, I will say a Ferrari F430. Look, I get that in every objective criteria, the 458 is miles ahead of the 430. There's something so unique, so analog about the 430 that made me love it, and that's why I ended up with it. And I know it's just a 430. And there's also something wrong with the design of the 458. Each time I look at it from behind, it just reminds me of that character from the Ice Age, Sid. Now let's move on to stop number two, Lamborghini, starting with the Aventador. So this is a car that checks all the right supercar boxes. Performance, sound, doors, road presence, character. It's a fantastic poster car. But there's two critical flaws with it. One, the fanboy diehard culture around the car. And number two, the fact that the car has just become a status symbol and not really a driver's car anymore. And when you drive the car, it just seems like you're always flexing. And the next option was the Huracan. And unlike the Aventador, this is really a driver's car. It's a car that you can really enjoy, experience, and has a great soundtrack to match. But what I felt was wrong with it was it just didn't feel like a special car. Yes, it has the performance. Yes, it has the engine noise, but does it really have that X factor? Is it really a poster car? And I didn't think it was. And the Spider, I would say could potentially deliver that X Factor, but who wants to drive around with a tent on their car? Get with the times, Lamborghini. And finally, the last and final stop is McLaren. So I'm aware of a more powerful, hardcore version of the 650S, yes, known as the 675LT. But that being said, it's not just about how much power the car has, it also comes down to whether or not the driver can extract that power through skill and courage. And I honestly only have one of those two things. And to be honest guys, I wanted a spider. And with a 675LT spider, you'd have to refer to my same argument as the 488. So that's really it. Those are really the cars that I considered before going with the 650S. Like I said, when it comes to cars of this caliber, it's not just a matter of performance. It really comes down to that X factor as well. All of these cars have incredible performance. It really comes down to that whether or not that car feels special to you. So feel free to comment down below with some of your perspective as well. I'm curious to hear what you guys are thinking. Whether or not you agree or disagree, that's irrelevant because we all have our opinions. And as car guys, we all have really strong opinions too. So thanks for watching guys. Until next time.